So whenever I see George Lang Homer's wife, George Lang Tang's wife, also called Married Hutu, and then I'll discuss with my friends. They told me that the essay he wrote there, essay is in the middle, and the whole that that's a good thing. So, I mean, I don't understand that that the right thing, or I mean, the just just how they are living, or just how they are living. मतलब किसी चीज की कोई कमी नहीं है कहीं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मुझे वो चीज समझ नहीं है व्हाई डू आई ऑफन टॉक ऑफ मैरिज एज सच आई हैव नथिंग अगेंस्ट टू पीपल कमिटिंग टू स्टे टुगेदर नो बट व्हाई डू आई ऑफन टॉक ऑफ इट आई टॉक ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ द माइंड दैट इज सो ईगरली वांटिंग मैरिज is often a mind that wants the marriage due to its insecurity its dullness and its inability to see what it is wanting and doing that darkness that ignorance reflects in all the actions of that mind all the actions of that individual but it reflects most starkly in the institution of marriage because it is so very permanent at least relative to the other things in life you can buy a shirt and you can do away with it that's not what you can do with your wife or husband <clears throat> that's why i talk so often of it i have nothing against marriage i have a lot to do with the mind of man the mind that rushes towards security the mind that wants to possess and hold captive another living being i want to talk of that mind but when it comes to marriage that mind acts almost in a suicidal way because now you have gone into something which given your current state would be extremely irreversible for you not only would it be irreversible it would be spawning a series of actions from here <coughs> marriage will decide the kind of work that you will you will do it will decide your relationship with the kids that you will breed it will decide practically everything about your life now that's why i talk about marriage otherwise why must i bother two fellows can comfortably live with each other all their life and it can be very beautiful as well but what if both of them have come to each other in sheer darkness what if they do not know what they are doing what if they are getting into an irreversible trap what if the mistake is final incorrigible that's why i talk about it but a buddha entering marriage would be so very all right why would one bother he is a buddha in his buddha hood whatever he does is beautiful as an awakened one in your wisdom whatever you do would be beautiful you may decide to marry you may decide to not to marry you may decide to live with one man you may decide to live with three men you may decide to have no kids you may decide to have 10 kids whatever you do would be wonderful who am i to talk about your intimate and individual decisions then whatever you do in your awakened state is just the right thing that you must do why must me or anybody talk about it so i have nothing 
as such against the institution of marriage. But I very well know why this institution is so all pervasive. Why one may not, why one may skip anything else in life but does not skip marriage. Because it pertains to our deepest darkness. And the deepest desire of the ego with a sense of incompleteness is to permanently latch on to somebody else. Love is the one thing that can redeem. And marriage acts as a very profane substitute for that. What should have been the avenue for your redemption becomes your permanent enslavement. Love can sublimate. Love can help you break out from your regular patterns. But love withheld by marriage becomes a pattern in itself. Instead of showing up as a dynamite, as something that can revolutionize your life, it becomes something that strangulates your life. Do you see this? You know the utter power of love, don't you? You know what it can do. Then you must also know that when this power is socialized, when this power is given a name, a shape, a pattern, a uniform, then you have lost that which was your only possibility of redemption. It's like having an axe that can break all your chains and using that axe instead to strike at your own legs. <laughs> Love would have helped you fly. And now you have captivated love within four walls. As wise men and, men and women, if you are married, wonderful. As wise men and women, if you are not married, wonderful. The point is not really marriage. The point is wisdom. Do you get this? I'm not crusading against a social evil. My one and only concern is the mind of man. Society and other things come way later. <laughs>